And how's it going, guys? Shutter Dragonic here, bringing you episode number two of Let's Play Monster Hunter World Blind. So let's go ahead and continue on with the rest of the game here. I believe we got to go talk to Handler in the canteen. So let's go ahead and do that. I did a little bit of training off screen, um, just in like the little tutorial area to try and get grips on some of the new features and kind of get grips with the weapons and the whole the whole system since it's been god when the hell did monster hunter 3 uh ultimate come out um i don't even remember it's been at least <laughs> five six years right so uh now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile grab what you need all right once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the canteen to sign up for a quest. Right. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go here. talk to this guy here first. <laughs> oh, nice weapon, buddy. I guess it means it's time to get hooked up with supplies. Okay, pretty much everything you need, so if you're ever short on anything, I'm your guy, right? As much as I'd love to take all your zenny, it's still a good idea to gather as much as you can while out in the field, which is true. Um, how much zenny do I have? I guess it'll show me if I click buy, right? Uh, two pouch? Let's, let's go to pouch. Right, so it starts me off with 2,000 zenny. Not bad. Barrel bomb. An empty barrel combined with gunpowder to make it into a bomb. All right, trap tool. All right, so let's see. What What is some stuff that we might need right off the bat? So we have six potions already and six antidotes. Um, hey. Empty file. Uh, I don't need any ammo. Astera jerky, uh, juicy dried meat, okay. Boost natural hearing, healing and cures bleeding. All right, that's interesting. An unusual shaped weapon uh, used for broad that returns to its user when thrown. Right, uh, trap tool. Must have item for putting together uh, pitfall traps and other kinds of traps. Binoculars. Allows you to see further and observe from a distance. Now, is that a one... I would hope that's not a one-time use item. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Right off the bat, let's go ahead and buy... Hey! Let's buy... Two trap tools. Let's also buy one binocular. Potions. Um, let's put our potions and our antidotes at an even 10. Just to kind of round that number off. And we got a thousand zenny left. Let's... We'll leave it at that. Now, what can I... I can sell my stuff then from... Can I? No, no, I can't. I can't sell any of those weapons. So that's a shame, but... Not that big of a deal, I guess. So we'll leave it at that for now. That'll, uh... That should keep us going for a little bit. Like he said, stock up on stuff out in the field. Um... Because, uh, let me see here. Hey. Item pouch. All right, we got rations. Which, for people who haven't played the game, rations increase your stamina. Um, we got raw meat, which I can cook. Powerful monster can be cooked, combined, or used to set a trap. And cooked meat, I believe, is pretty much like a ration. Uh, it'll increase your stamina as well. Must have item for putting together pitfall traps and other kind of traps. 
Now, it says putting them together. Hmm. Right. We will figure that out when we uh, get to it eventually. Because the thing is, trapping a monster actually uh, rewards you with more stuff than simply killing it and carving from it. Plus, there are usually there are usually trapping quests anyway. But for the most part, if well, not if, but uh, when there are gathering quests, such as just gathering resources and stuff, if there are no major monsters involved, yes, I know. Shut up. Uh, if there are no major monsters involved uh, in the hunt. I'm probably literally just going to skip the gathering quest because they can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Just simply gathering items and whatnot. But as long as there's a hunt involved or something of that kind, I will keep it in the video. Just kind of keep the important stuff, I guess. So where are we heading? We are heading to the canteen, right? So we are heading over here. Or not. Yeah. No, this is not the canteen. Uh, we can talk to the commander, though. Listen up. Something important I need to talk to you about. All right. This commission is special, different from past undertaking. If I had to take a guess, I'm not about hunting down the elder dragons or punishing them for any damage they cause. The commission seeks an understanding of their place in nature and ours. That's the point. The elder dragons are nature, and it's our. It's as futile to try to punish nature as it is to run from it. Now that's hunting. But knowing nature. Now that's something we can do. Hey! Oh my god, shut up. All right, uh, we're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be clear. What this world needs is harmony. Uh, but before you take life or move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. Indeed, it does. Or we can just go slaughter everything, which is what most people do. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go where we're supposed to now. Head to the canteen. Which is the canteen up. Up. Over. Hold up. I gotta get my bearings here. I guess this is taking the long, the long route around. Although saying that, let's go talk to... I know she's gonna be mad at me. She reminds me of freaking Navi from... Ocarina of Time. Hey, listen. Come here. Do this. My, my, my. There you go, newcomer. Look at you. More hunterly with a weapon on your back. Weapons, weapons, but either way, uh, this is the armory. We deal in ready-made weapons and armor. Hey! Oh my god, I, I swear to god I'm going to call her Navi. Uh, if you need a weapon ASAP and don't have time to gather the materials, worry the ticket. Alright, what do you have as far as uh, dual blades? Bone hatchets. Really? They only cost 300 zenny? Hold up, hold up. Why are they... I see they don't stay sharp as often. Why are they the same cost? As by matched slicers. That's just kind of... I, I don't get that. But I say if that's the case, I have... Hey! Oh, shut up. Uh, I... Hmm. I mean, that is a pretty big uh, difference in damage output. They don't stay sharp as long, which is kind of a downer, but... That extra damage will probably come in handy. So let's go ahead and buy... Yeah, let's go ahead and buy the bone hatchets. Yes, we will equip them now. Uh, can I... S can I sell my... Then again, I guess the question becomes, do I really want to sell them? Can they be upgraded? They could probably be upgraded, right? So I might want to hang on to them. Let's see what they got as far as armor. Uh, Chainmail and leather, right? Stuff I already have in my box, so no point in doing that. As far as forging goes, uh, second fleet master. Who do we talk to for hey! forging purposes? 
Is it you? Nah. It's a fine weapon you've selected. Well then, shall we? Ah, right. You haven't got any materials yet. We're not magic monkeys that bang things together and suddenly gear appears. We need materials first, so go gather some. Right. All right, so we have to gather stuff before we can even do anything or talk to him. All right. All right. Let's go talk to, uh, I am. I'm just going to call her Nobby. All right, what do you want? Right on time. Obviously not on time for you, but all right. Okay, partner, time to get down to business. The guild teamed up, uh, teamed us up for a reason. The handler from now on, uh, you're my hunter. And I'm your handler. Okay. I'm the bread to your butter. Got it. <laughs> right. It's mighty big meal you got there. The Fifth Fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagra's habitat. Uh, then we got to, uh, then we got to call a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jagra's of the Ancient Forest quest. Are you ready? What are we waiting for? The new world awaits. Indeed. Post a new quest. Join a quest. So post a quest. Right. Uh, quest evolved. Right. Accepting it. Assignments. Uh, optional quests. Investigations. Events. Special quests exclusive to online play. All right. Exit tutorial. Yes. Okay. Apparently, I can only click on it signed. Right. Joggers of the Ancient Forest. Level one. Vouchers owned. You have no vouchers. Accept this quest. Yes. Okay. Quest accepted. Uh, you're free to explore Astera until preparations for the quest are complete. Grab a meal. Uh, right. That That's another thing as well. Grabbing meals. To, I'm not going to grab a meal f unless there's something that'll like help with carving and whatnot. Getting extra carves. Although right now we're just surveying, so I don't think there's actually going to be any like killing. Possibly there is, but um, eating a meal... Prior to doing a quest, can give uh, benefit boosts to your character as well as your palico. So they are very useful to do. All right, they're very useful to do, uh, more or less so on big hunts. Right. Um, once you're prepared, press at any time. Stand by. You go. Blah blah blah. From party member status. Um, okay. All right. What the heck does Blade have? Is that a shovel? All right, so let's go ahead and depart because we are ready. Ready to get this show on the road. I've been playing for about an hour now and haven't actually done anything yet. So it's definitely time to get into the actual gameplay. Right, you have a time limit on each each uh, quest. Alright, this is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Alrighty. Rule number one, complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? That's common sense. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check them out. Okay, so it is a kill quest. That's... Alright. We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Indeed, that I will. Rule number two, use the supply box. And by use the supply box, they mean use the supply box. They give you free stuff that is only used, or only able to be used during the quest, so you might as well make use of it. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready to go. Right. Guess I know how to move, thanks. So usually, uh... Oh, yeah. 
This is your supply box. Hey, Cannot carry anymore. Huh. Okay. Now, I had stuff in my... Yeah, I still have stuff in my pouch. But I can only carry ten. Alright, well, I'll, I'll take them anyway. I don't, don't, nothing more, nothing less. Empty files. I already have, like, a hundred of them in my pouch. But that being said... Let me see something real quick. Um... Shortcut one. Oh, so you can have more. Oh, okay, they're first aid meds, not potions. Gotcha, okay. Oh, we have unlimited whetstones. That's interesting. Easy ration. Right. Let's go ahead and ration up. As you can see, my stamina bar is now maxed out. Two rations maxed that out, so that's that's good. All right, so we want to go ahead and get on with the quest then. Want to get going? Uh huh. Yes, I know how to use the item bar. Thank you. Be careful. Now we could, we could, if we wanted to, we could slay Aptanath as well. Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. Uh, when you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. Right. So I do want to try. And... I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. Oh, okay. All right. I see. Now, I do want to gather some stuff. This is just stone, right? Yeah, it's just stone. We don't have a pickaxe yet. Now, vitality. What is... Are they literally just, like, instant heal? Is that what vitality is? Yeah. Now, there is... Are those herbs? Over here. Herb gathering. That's what it looks like. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab some of these herbs. Primary ingredient in potions, indeed it is. Now what else is there? Stone. What is that? Water moss. Slinger ammo imbued with the water element. Okay. So elemental slinger ammo. Just gonna get my bearings here on some of this new stuff. Now, there's something over here as well. What is that? Hey! Yeah, 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 I know. Is that literally... Okay, that's just a way to a new area. Right. So let's go ahead and make our way over here. We'll continue on. Like I said, they give you uh, they give you 50 minutes to complete most quests, if not all quests. So, oh, that's an herb. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Yes, I kind of figured that's what that was. Honey is a very important uh, ingredient, so gather it when you can. Although sadly, I'm only getting one gather from each uh, supply area. That's usually not the case in Monster Hunter, but Now, can stuff be... Bitterbug. Red pit? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Why is that showing? Red pit, bitterbug, needleberry. Oh, are those... Hold up.
Over here. Okay. And we'll take that. So these are items in the area. Yes, no. Yes indeed. Bitterbug, where is the Over here? Bitterbug and water moss. There's the water moss, and the bitter bug is... Over here! Dude, shut your freaking pie hole. Bitter bug. Over here! Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, it's it's showing me things to gather, but I'm not seeing where the uh, bitter bug is. Over here. Cause that's the red pit, right? I could just yeah pick that up again. Water moss. Red pit. Over here. Over here. A pack of Jagras. Those are the monsters we're after. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. All right. Well, I guess I can I can stop sneaking now. As I miss like every flurry of freaking Ouch. Right. I wanna... They're on the run. Don't let them get away. But I want to carve. Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smithy. Parish room. Over here. Yeah, 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 I know. I would assume that parish room is paralyzing. Yeah. Para uh, paralysis. Requires craft trank bombs. Alright. That's slinger ammo. And we're gonna go down this way. What is that? Red pit. A bone pile. Ancient bone. All right, so I'm getting multiple uh, gathers. Monster bone S, nice. Another ancient bone. Now what is this? Okay, a mining outcrop. Do I have? Oh, I have a pickaxe. Okay. Iron ore. Malachite ore. All right. Nice. Now show me what is this. Spore puff. Parish room? Yes, more parish room. A scattered nut. more of those spores. Some of these things probably aren't very useful to me right now, but I just want to gather what I can and try and get my bearings of the whole the whole system again. So I apologize if this is boring anybody, but you guys know how it is. Or those of you who have played it know how it is. Right, so they went through here, right? What are those? Bright moss. All right, the flash floods. Yeah, I heard about those. They can, um, 
They can blind things, right? Oop, not what I wanted to do. Oops. There we go. Use whatever you can. I don't know what the uh, what the I don't know what the time is here on these guys. As far as carves, I want to be able to get what I can from these guys before they disappear. They don't seem too concerned at the moment. Why are you targeting those guys over there? Alright, so we got 60 seconds to carve these guys. What is this? Bright moss. I'll take it. Now what I really want to do, though, is I want to get these. Monster Bone S. Monster Bone S. Monster Bone S. All right. What in the world is that? Bright Moss. Oh, I guess I'm full and I can't pick up anything else, huh? Let's just hand him a sausage. All right. All right. Quest rewards. We got a Jagger's scale, sharp claw, another Jagger's scale, another sharp claw, armor sphere. That's for upgrading armor, obviously. Uh, blue mushrooms. Blue mushrooms. Bitter bug. Ancient bone and toadstools. Could be used as a toxin for knives. Nice. All right. Items gather gathered by Palicos. Needleberries. Not covered in needle-like spines. Used to make uh, spread ammo. All right. Honey, I will take that. Thank you. Take the ancient bones and the iron ore. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the needleberry, but I'll take it anyway. Nice. Gadget proficiency. Okay. New cutscene has been added to the gallery. All right. Research points, zero reward. All right. Fine work taking down those Jagras. Hmm, so there's no difference in their habitat. But their numbers are increasing, I see. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe stating the obvious, but the Jagras aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. We've also received reports of uh, Kestodon, her getting out of hand. Okay. This must be all because Zora Magdaros made landfall. It's not everything riled up. Okay. Listen up. Well, it's going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like you to investigate this Kestodon herd. Cool their numbers. Going along. Wouldn't want to get hurt, okay. Cannot depart on quests with other players via online session. 
Okay. Uh, you can change your voice chat settings later in the options menu. Turn on voice chat. No. All right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Indeed, that is exactly where I'm going to head. Now, who is this? Okay, that's a squad manager. That's online. Fair enough. There you are, Fiber. Aha, look who's back with materials. Step right up and welcome to the Smithy. You've been needing my services a lot. What can I, uh, what I do for you is simple. Whenever you go out in the field and gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armor. Drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome pro Why didn't you do that the first time? You were like, no, you gotta go out and get your own shit. Alright. Uh, you can upgrade them. Or you can use them to upgrade your weapon. Smithy. Yada, yada, yada. Yes. Alright, so we can forge Palico equipment as well. Let's um, see what we can upgrade here. Can I upgrade the bone hatchets? To, okay, the bone hatchets too. It'll cost. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. Upgraded weapons can also be downgraded. The materials used to upgrade the weapon will be returned to. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so we got the bone tree. We can go to... Alright, just needs two uh, Monster Bone S's. Let's go to Bone Hatchets 2. Which isn't bad. We've also got... That. Right, that'll upgrade their stability. Or their sharpness. Stability, what am I talking about? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Yeah, 200 zenny. That's not bad. Huzzah! Let's d dip those bones in that freaking... Alright. Well, that was quick. Hey, right, now we can go to three as well. What do you need for three? It doesn't tell you. Under development, huh? Question mark tree. Okay, so we can actually take a different path here. Uh, an elemental path. Breaking off from here. Alright, I, I see how it's working. So the next one can go to Fire Elemental. Alright. Seems simple enough. Now as far as armor goes, um... What the hell is that? My old drone? Old drone? What is a mull drone? Upgrades remaining. Five. To next. Okay. Each piece of armor has a level. Right. But we only have one armor sphere. Wait, I have two armor spheres in the box? Really?
Or I have two in... Oh, I have two in total. Okay. So that'll increase the defense to eight. Um, let's... Instead of the helmet, let's go with actual physical body armor? Yeah? Or do I really want to... See, that's the whole thing. Do I really want to... Hmm. Choices, choices. Do I want to hold on to the armor spheres, or do I actually want to upgrade? Yeah, why not? And as well as that, let's go with, um... That says I have more stuff to upgrade. But I don't have any more... Um, or is that just upgrades remaining? Oh, that's just simply... Okay. Alright, I got you. Forged Palico equipment, huh? Standard equipment. Feline Bone Hammer. Bone helm. That's kind of cool. Feline iron. An acorn spade. That's what it is. All right. Let's go down the... Versus fire, versus water. That gets negatives like all around. Yeah, let, let's go with... Let's go with bone. Let's give him... Um, Insufficient points. Oh, I don't have no points. Okay, you need points. How does one get points? Manage Kinsex. Sick glaives are used with Kinsex. To get a new Kinsex, like purchase Kinsex to enhance it. Okay. Nurture, purchase. Dust effect, poison. Attack type, sever. Heal and blunt. Okay. It's getting a little... A little on the confusing side here, I suppose. Change equipment. Um, no, we're good. Alright. Now, do you have anything new as far as... You do not. All right. 
Great sword wise, right? Got bone blade. Insect glaive. Gun lance. All right. Well, I think I'm I'm done here for now. Anyway, who are you, airship engineer? That looks like it's online stuff as well. The materials we need are on the airship. Okay. All right. So I guess we can go ahead and do our next uh, assignment if we wanted to. Get your login bonus. Quest Chew the Fat, available until 2-1. Okay. Add-ons now available. Download free hairstyles and classic gestures. Lucky Voucher. Okay. Alright. So it's, it's all new. All new, indeed. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for these first couple episodes being, you know kind of getting used to things, which is literally what it is, is getting used to things. Haven't had much action yet, but I apologize, and it will get better as we, we go along. But like I said, anybody that's watching, you know, if you want to give pointers, tips, or you want to join me in an online game, please feel free to uh, send me an invite, you know, post a comment, let me know. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, guys, later.